Hey everybody, so today I have here, this is the HP X360 Spectre. This is a very, very new model. I know there's a lot of them, but this is a very new model. You see it has the Evo sticker there, Evo i7 sticker. It's a little bit dirty, but it's in here for repair. Uh, the customer actually replaced the battery, and they're not able to boot the windows now. So they said it's turning on and everything, um, but they're just not able to boot the windows. So let's go ahead and take a look to see really what the problem is for it. I'm really interested to see what that is and how that could really uh, impact it. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so let's power it on. All right, what is this here? All right, so we get this error. It says battery counter for check error. Non HP battery detected. This might pose health and safety risk. HP recommends using HP battery only, blah, 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 blah. So that doesn't look good. So it knows that it's not a genuine battery. And now we're showing preparing automatic repair which isn't a good sign either and now yeah, boots to a black screen okay um, let's us uh, do something what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold the power button there I'm gonna shut this off and I wanna see if I can boot to at least a BIOS there showing this I'm gonna still press escape and you see it now it says pause startup and now we get a boot menu and I want to see if there's anything we can see in, in the BIOS there. So let's go to F10. I just totally clicked the wrong one. Okay, no, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I clicked. Though, man, that's a scan lines. Don't mind that. I want to see if there's anything obvious here that we can see. Let me zoom in, too. I don't see anything obvious that's going to be throwing a fit. There is a setting where it says Adaptive Battery Optimizer. It is enabled. Uh, I don't think it's going to make really much of a difference here, at least for booting or anything. I don't see anything else that can shut off at least the warning for it to come because obviously he doesn't have uh, the battery. And it's even showing a battery serial number and it just shows something there, which is interesting. But I don't think it, ca it knows that it's not an actual real battery. I'm just going to do something. I'm going to see if I can disable this adaptive battery optimizer. I don't think it's going to change anything, but it looks like there's something to do uh, with the BIOS there that might be affecting it or not turning on. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, I disabled that and see if it's going to change any settings on here. I don't think it will, but uh, let's see how it's going to boot now. Um, it still ch checks the account for error, and it's going to give you that every time, I guess, until you get HP Genuine one, but who has that? Now it's booting normally. It, it was showing recovery before. Now it's booting normally. And now it goes to just a black screen. Okay. Um, it's not booting. Okay, so it's not booting. And this is kind of the problem that he said it was. So uh, we want to go ahead and open it. We want to go ahead and check it out and just see what the issue may be. Uh, it is a bit dirty on the back here. And you can see that even the rubber is missing here. And even the USB port here is in the greatest health. Even there's one screw that's actually different than the other one. So obviously this has been opened. <laughs> well, I mean, he said it, but it's always a good way to just check just to make sure if this was coming in and they didn't tell you, then you can at least tell that it's pretty obvious that this has been opened, uh, worked on, or... At least the rubber bins, the rubber has been removed. So there's only like a few screws here. It doesn't seem to be a whole lot, and I think this should just come up after I do these two. They make two in the back or two in the front different than the ones in the back, but that's fine. But we're just gonna go ahead and check it out and see what we see. Okay, so this should just lift up. It's actually pretty loose right now. We're gonna lift this up. See that it's a little bit dirty, and you can see by our here. That it's obviously this isn't a, an HP Genuine one, um, clearly. And that is the case. And look, even there's a 980 Evo SSD in here too. It's pretty cool. Since the BIOS is giving a problem with this battery, I wouldn't be surprised if I just pop this battery out and it doesn't care anymore. We're going to go ahead and power this on without a battery in here. And we're going to go see if that's going to work or change any type of symptoms for it. I assume they work on it if they put an SSD in there. Maybe they recently installed Windows too. I wonder if they had a problem with the <laughs> storage driver on oh, this because this is a very new one. Anytime you install Windows, it's never straightforward anymore. Okay, it says that CMOS has been... Okay, this is CMOS, so it's resetting because uh, the CMOS has been reset because there's no battery. There's no separate CMOS either in there. So it seems to be, obviously, you unplug the battery, you're resetting the whole BIOS here. So it's going to enter. It's going to restart automatically, which shouldn't be such a big deal. And let's see what else we get. We're just going to wait, um, see if it loads Windows or if it gives a problem with the driver. Okay, preparing automatic repair. 
it's not a big deal, I guess, because it's been probably reset so many times or it's trying to go. But hey, we actually get to the main screen here and there is no driver for the touch screen <laughs> in the recovery or the touchpad driver. So I have to get a dongle and use a mouse. So you go into Windows Recovery, it doesn't have a driver, which is like, d don't even get me started with that. So even the touch screen doesn't have a driver. Now I'm using the mouse. And I'm just going to, what I'm just going to do is just reset it. So I'm just going to go to Troubleshoot and, oh, can I just restart it? I don't want to do any startup repairs or anything. I guess I did now, but. We'll try start up repair just see and just hit maybe we can restart and boot to Windows. Hopefully. Because it, it didn't boot to the recovery mode before. I'm I'm wondering if I'm assuming that's just the battery that's doing that, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna turn this back on. I wonder if it's gonna just gonna go ahead and boot to it now. Alright, so I you know you know how Windows recovery works, right? It doesn't. So resetting it will fix it, otherwise you're just kind of in the loop there. And see if it's, is it going to boot? Oh, we got a boot screen, and we have Windows. And it looks very new. <laughs> Actually, looks very clean. There's Windows 11. Okay, so what did we figure out today? What did we repair? Absolutely nothing. And there's the mouse is working now. My trackpad's working because the driver's installed. And we have the touch screen working too, like that. All right, so it looks like we got it all working. We figured out the problem is with the counterfeit battery. It will not boot to Windows. Did we fix anything? No. Did the customer fix anything? Yes. And that's really interesting because they replaced their battery. They got a non-genuine battery. It does power on the, the machine itself, the HP machine. You can go to BIOS. You can even see the Windows uh, little balls spinning there. And then it just won't boot. just goes right to a black screen. Now, it throws a fit that there's a counterfeit battery in there and it says about how it's just going to affect the charging and possibly damage uh, the life of of the device now um, parts and availability are always difficult you usually have to go through the manufacturer if you're going to get a genuine part which we understand this created another problem not related to the battery but related to the hard drive and the customer's data now if you're going to give those warnings that's that's understandable and it's always commendable because you want to use genuine parts i understand that to the manufacturer of it but not allowing it to boot to go to a black screen and you're actually um, you're possibly impacting the OS of this and maybe the possible um, loss of data because of the OS getting corrupted maybe there's a bit locker the customer isn't aware of the bit locker there's lots of problems that can stem from this thing not booting on just because it's not a non-genuine battery especially the customer's data is very important and just a easy battery swap is going to possibly impact the data of and, and integrity of, of the drive and the OS just because it's non genuine battery. I just don't understand that. So I, I definitely hope this, this really, this issue kind of gets fixed in the future. There should be at least a switch for, for maybe just deactivating the certain type of charging requirements that the original battery does because it said something about fast charging. Maybe just disable that in the BIOS. Anyways, guys, this is more of an informative video. Uh, what we're gonna do for this guy is obviously just offer him uh, a genuine battery and just let him know that's his issue. Obviously it works without the battery totally fine. And it's a very big scare, especially you don't know what customer's data is on there, what's really important to it. So hope you guys learned something today. Enjoy watching this video. Enjoy a little rant. We always like to let you guys know on possible issues, especially the major brands, that, th that there are big issues that may come in, especially with a repair shop. If we see it once, you know it's going on all the time. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.